Hello to the second video of this evening. Um, a, a little presentation of my ready to go uh, post corrective tool. So here it is. Um, now it's a little bit more uh, more stuff going on here. Uh, so basically, what I'm having here is all of um, my active post corrective locators in one list. Uh, oh, I don't want to have this guy visible here. Uh, let's rename him. So. I think you're looking for this. Um, so you can see all you can see then all of the post corrective locators here, and if I double click them, uh, some are not attached to a post uh, to a corrective shape, but rather to an uh, offset uh, offsetting of the rig. Like for example, I have a post locator here for arm forward. which uh, then is here and this guy is not attached to any corrective so on this side we list all of the corrective shapes that we got into in our character mesh in this uh, mesh here, the blend shape mesh and if we double click on these we can also select the uh, current connected uh, locator going into that and these locators are also reordered uh, anytime you update them by their combined active uh, attribute so that you always get the one on top which is currently the most active uh, one so for example this guy here this attribute doesn't drive a blend shape but it drives offset rotation on this twist control to get a little bit more of this thing because if I have this on zero you can see my current arm twist setup doesn't do this very good but no problem this tool fixes that a little uh, so it can help on that uh, yeah so things didn't change too much here only that it now really does support blend shapes and is in uh, post space whoever saw my videos on uh, world space blend shapes forget those I took them off now too so uh, it was a little excursion in a very wrong direction um, so no more comment on that but this one works I again put the I'm working with the brave rabbits uh, extract data plugin because it's a really fast one I really like it um, it doesn't extract blend shapes. If you have a blend shape active on that, uh, it will screw up your mesh, but that's no problem. I've come to the easy way on coming over that and still have the option to sculpt on top of active blend shapes. And uh, But yeah, so you can see this mesh is fairly high resolution, uh, 30,000, and I can do a quick corrective to show you. Uh, what do we do? Uh, I don't know, man. That's just something here on the back. Maybe... Let's try arm back. On the left side. So, i post the arm. Well, let me leave the shoulder at zero so that we can get the full uh, only the arm moving. Okay, so maybe I also want to have another blend shape, uh, another one fixing this guy. Uh, but then you'll see here, maybe we can fix it in this pose. So let's do that. 
let's create a locator so first select the post joint and then the compared current uh, and hit the arm backward so this post is on backward uh, create post locator setup let go um, then it automatically appears here on the top with one so you can double click him uh, to make sure this start corrective sculpting gets enabled it, it does get enabled after you press this button but anyway um, this is in case if you want to correct if you, if you want to make a corrective without making a new locator maybe you want to add the corrective to an existing locator uh, so let's start corrective sculpting here let's hide stuff and let's do a quick repair of this mesh I think I am mirroring yep, let's hide that let me turn it off and uh, now let's push a little bit here to the outside oh you are really smoothing the shit out of this mesh whoa oh, anyway so let's move here a little more these intersections with these smooth commands, smooth commands, we can like burn those intersections away. A so looking here, let's see the manual. Um, well let's push all of this stuff backwards a little. Smooth again. Smooth and push. Smooth and push. Alrighty. So now we can see if we can fix this a little. Let's smooth and push. Smooth and push. Push in a little here. a little bit more volume here Maybe this uh, he needs some little smoothing. Okay, looks better. In the end, it doesn't look like we fixed too much, but anyway, this is just for the show. Uh, I want to close this out a little. care to not move stuff we don't want to move okay mm, let's get a little bit more push here we can really exaggerate here a little bit
Okay. Good to live with the Cloudo, uh, Scapula. We have a little bit of fake slide. We're pushing this more to the inside. this a little bit lower right about here it's worth that Already, so let's call this. Let's call this done. Maybe we can try it a little bit. From mid here. Pizza's muscle more appearing. Like sharpen the slime. And also the clavicle. Yeah, so adding a little bit of anatomy. Call this done. Uh, let's bake this. So there you see that's it. It didn't took more than three seconds, and it already baked it, mirrored it onto the right side, and rebaked it again. Uh, didn't rebake it. Uh, the mirroring uh, happens uh, post. But yeah, I mean the baking is very fast. I like it. And there we go, this is our bench shape. And then we have like some options. Uh, I can have the arm back there. And if you rotate this, you can see the blend shape goes away. But here in the locator, we can reduce this include twist attribute, which will basically. Uh, ignore the X rotation of this joint so that the entire so that the pose sh uh, pointing in that direction will be fully taken into account instead of multiplying it by the twist pose um, so that's some in internal stuff going on here that can help you if, you if you have poses where so you can see this doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's it's made quickly, so maybe I can have some improvements. But you can uh, can get some. You know where you can go with this. And then, of course, just to show everything mirrored properly on the right side. Cool. Huh? Um, so I quite like this uh, shape. I'm gonna save the file here, and just in case something crashes on this next step, 
And then I'll show you the little extra function that I added, uh, which is down here. Edit selected. So on certain correctives, I found that my current mirroring uh, method sometimes didn't uh, do quite a good job. And now I still don't know if it's because of the parts of the mesh, and because I use the the well-known wrap mirror uh, method, where you have your blend shape, you blend shape that onto a clean target, mirror that in X, wrap that onto a new target, activate the blend shape, duplicate clean mesh out again, and use that as a mirror mesh. Works pretty good, but I don't know, sometimes if the maybe if the skinning is not 100% mirrored correctly you may get uh, off, uh, odd behavior on small parts and I don't know why because I made sure that this model has perfectly symmetrical skinning but maybe I didn't uh, because I like to have a little bit of asymmetry uh, but yeah so in any case for example uh, let's Let's get to another pose. So let's say we have this arm out pose here. Let's update the locator. So we are here. Arm pit, arm out. We're almost there. You always want to edit the pose when the locator is completely active. Um, so I, I have write a little method here, which is uh, match control rotates to locator. So we have this locator selected. If we now uh, shift select this control and click this, it will X form the control to match the locator target pose orients. And we are now on a perfect one. This doesn't work for all controls somehow. Uh, I need to find a way how to like offset things because sometimes the controls are not oriented to the joint but the locators are so I need I need to have a way like to where you can uh, flip axes and uh, see if you if you're getting the right pose uh, there are attributes in the, in the locator but this one works so we can now double click this guy to find its blend shape if we double click the blend shape we enable this edit selected if we go and edit selected we get a new shape Again, this is a uh, perfect world space, so no weird uh, post space editing and thinking too much of shit. And uh, yeah, so then we can maybe let's say I don't know about my shoulder bone, uh, control, I want to add a little bit of shoulder raise onto this blend shape. something like that now some simple changes and now to show the to prove if it works I will just duplicate this mesh out call it compare and hide it away so we will unhide it when we baked our thing back and see if it worked and now we we're finished we click bake edit again it takes a few seconds now it's done we are back on our skin mesh and if we unhide our compare mesh we are in the perfect pose so I can delete this you know it works and our pose works too. so you can see pretty much how the arm now raises significantly up this doesn't make any sense on this pose because we would much rather like to use these controls for that but uh, just to show the edit function and there's still no mirror tool for this because honestly you would like to make the correctives from the beginning good and only tweak little errors for mirroring yeah, but I mean you could go and just do the same thing on the right side and try to get out again and uh, yeah and of course this works uh, even if the targets from the blend chips have already been deleted so it doesn't it doesn't matter um, so if I go here into the blend shapes tab and go into correctives 
you can see here here is my arm arm backwards and my r backwards oh, that's the backwards and here is our, our armpits arm out corrective that we just created and if i was to show you if i were to show you the this group before i did this it wouldn't have it wouldn't be here so let me try this on another, on another post to show you um so this would be like a, or also like a, a kind of technique how to get your target shapes back if you deleted them um in case you would like you would like to delete uh, to really absolutely delete the targets from the blend shape because you can only do that if uh, the target mesh still exists but um yeah it's a little bit of uh, blend shape internal things so to know how the blend shape node works um i could also like let's do this on um, head back pose uh, here okay here let's check where we are oh we're almost there a little more yeah i call this good this is almost one because the script doesn't work here because you can see these controls are oriented different than the joints so it would flip things by 90 degrees in some axis so i would need like a little button here to flip stuff uh, until you hit the right one and we just a little more minus 14 one Sixteen. Oh, I'm getting there. Let's see if we can get something. So minus eighteen. Oh, I think we have too much now. Ah, perfect. We're on one. That's enough. And um, yeah, so now we can select this. Here's our target head underscore back underscore l underscore corrective. If I was to look for this, l underscore back underscore l underscore corrective it's not here it's not the scene um, but that really doesn't matter uh, the script just gets it back for you uh, reattaches it to the blend shape into the right uh, input of the blend shape so you can edit stuff maybe you want to have uh, around the neck here and maybe just small nitpicky changes uh, maybe get a little bit more of the of the throat th showing up more intense by pushing things in here a little more bad like that and Break that. That's it. Script is done. We're breaking our bind mesh. If we take a look here, here's our head back corrective. So it stores them there and it doesn't delete them in case you want to keep them. But if you don't need to do them, you can delete them again. It doesn't matter, as I said, because you can just re edit them and get them back that way. The, therefore you could just like you know get to a pose hit edit selected directly go to bake edit and then you would just get your normal shape back how it was before that would be a good thing maybe to do before you start editing the mesh because unluckily this step is not undoable uh, because blend shape nodes don't uh, like being reconnected and disconnected and stuff and then undone so undo it doesn't work on those kinds of connections in blend shape nodes. Uh, I mean it works, but it's very very unpredictable what happens after that, and you can really screw up your scene. So always, if you like undo one of these steps, save before. Um, so yeah, I think that was pretty much it. That was all of uh, that was into this. Not pretty much after all. Maybe I can show you on another uh, scene. 
uh, no, I want to save these changes. Uh, because you can see here, I have blend shape mesh and deforming mesh. Uh, particularly, you could have both of these meshes be the same. Uh, on the other rig, I didn't. I wanted to have like all of the blend shapes go into a clean target, and from that have one simple blend shape go into my uh, one single blend shape go into my final output deforming mesh. Uh, to have everything a little bit more clear. In the end it doesn't matter, but um, it's just there. And for example this monster here, uh, do we have a pause for this guy already? Yeah. So I was doing some correctives here on the, on the breast muscle uh, so for, for the arm rise. And yeah. Um, let's plug both meshes into here, update locators, uh, we don't update blend shapes, good to know, I'll just restart the script, okay here we go, um, so here we are, lock arm out, ah, Yeah, I I made a change recently to the script so that it uh, keeps your last input string. Uh, I think my mind crashed before I could save that some days ago. But yeah, um, uh, the script needs to get these meshes here. Then it can query the blend shapes on those meshes to get the targets. Um, there will be some slight changes I need to do to the script so that it uh, keeps the names uh, when you close it and reopen it because now it's set to the default of the other character but anyway um, so you, you could most certainly have blend shape mesh and deforming mesh be the one and the same mesh it wouldn't matter and then you could um, do stuff just on both meshes that's okay too so we can like uh, see so here, me then off. Create a okay, setup. Oh uh, no, cancel. So the script warns you if you don't have a joint selected. It warns you. It wants the joint to be selected. Uh, so we select this joint, and we will also select this parent joint. Otherwise, it will be compared to this one, and that would be uh, a little bit uh, falsing out our results. So now we hit that. There is a column. Uh, now we can start corrective sculpting. Maybe smooth some of these sharp skins. Yeah, and then when you're done, big correctives there and it still works so now uh, after baking this it runs the update locate update correctives uh, procedure and then he also finds our others and then we can double click here and we can select this guy and we can edit them it's basically the same so you can have like an input output this into this um, yeah basically that's it uh, on the scripts, uh, I don't think there's too much to add to this. It's pretty much good to go. And yeah, I might have have a talk to the guys from Brave Rabbit, see if I can get um, the permission to uh, get their plugin for for distributing and uh, see what happens. So yeah. See you then next time on whatever tutorial comes next. If it's a tutorial or just a show like this, I don't know. However, it's surprise.